Diagnosis is one of the greatest weapons we have to combat cancer. Be aware of your body. You know, come in for yearly physicals. Follow up with your specialists. The number one cancer that we saw with fi the firefighter uh, cancer initiative that we did with the University of Miami was skin cancer. So today, if you see anything on your skin that's changing in size, shape, or color, anything that has a darker pigment, for sure come in and be evaluated for that right away. We're pushing the envelope in terms of early diagnosis. So with colonoscopies, routine health maintenance, we're now doing colonoscopies at the age of 40. We're doing mammograms starting at the age of 35. We are still doing PSAs. Our firefighters are at high risk, so we're gonna do as much as we can. You may be familiar with the full body CAT scan that we offer every five years. We've adopted now in 2023, a robust full body ultrasound. So the full body ultrasound scans your neck, it does your thyroid, carotid, liver, spleen, et cetera. And what that does is give us a chance to look inside your body non-invasively for early cancers. It doesn't give you the sensitivity and specificity that you would get from a CAT scan, but also it doesn't give you the radiation. So it's sort of a little bit of a trade-off. Firefighters are at high risk. We need to be aggressive at, at your health and wellness center. And we're doing that. We're pushing the envelope. In, in closing, we appreciate the opportunity to talk and discuss firefighter cancer awareness. January specifically is cervical cancer awareness. So I do recommend all of the women to get their pap smears and mammograms. So that's a January uh, tip for our female firefighters.